Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad Chichen here, and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival Season 3. So, where I left off in the previous episode, I had been attacked by a missile turret that actually destroyed uh, quite a bit of Excalibur here, as you guys can see the damage on the top. Uh, even some of the thrusters at the back are damaged as well. So, I'm going to be repairing Excalibur at some point here, but I left, I left the last episode asking you guys what I should be focusing on throughout this season, and a few of you guys were split up between two things. One, building a large enough ship to actually hold Excalibur inside of, and building a city inside this asteroid here. Now, I've had a chance to actually look at this asteroid, and there's quite a few awesome places that I had seen. Now, I will be mainly focusing on the ship first, the larger ship first, and then I'll mainly, uh, after I do the large ship, I'll then do the city inside of here. But there's quite a few interesting places where I would uh, be interested in actually building a city, because I had recorded this video before, but I didn't like how a few of the things turned out, so I decided to restart it. Um, if I find where I left off before, which I think was not in here, I think it was... Um, Oh, that's actually going to be hard to find where I actually was uh, beforehand. I'll quickly try and see if I can... Because I, I knew it was near the... I think it was actually over here, I think. was this? Does this look about right to me? Yeah, this area here, this whole massive flat piece of land. At least it wasn't exactly flat. Uh, I, I'll have to flatten it out at some point. But all along here would make for a great place to have a large city. Because it's just so massive. And if I stand down here, you'll see how small I am compared to all this space that I have to build in and I think uh, I can see yeah I can see that symbol from here as well even though uh, that wasn't really intended it's just I noticed that that was there just then there's also another interesting place I noticed on this asteroid and I'll see if I can find that uh, when I was flying around I had noticed it that I didn't even see it before in the last episode um, where exactly could it be it just looked really really cool um, I guess I'll fly around and show you guys the rest of the asteroid itself anyways, for all those who hadn't seen it before. Um, it's quite a massive, massive piece of rock here. It looks really cool. Um, is this the thing I'm looking at? I think it might be, actually. Yeah, this tunnel here, this tunnel had these sorts of iron veins going uh, kind of through it like this, and it's not just that one, there's actually several of them all through this one tunnel, and it looks really, really cool, but really weird at the same time. I just thought it was a very interesting sort of tunnel design. I have my lights on, by the way, so if it's not really too... If it's a little dark for you guys, I apologize. This is as bright as I can get it to be. But I just thought this tunnel here looked really interesting. kind of reminds me of uh, a place in Star Wars, actually. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, there, there is that tunnel there. I don't, don't know if I'll be doing anything with it, but I did spot it before when I was flying around. So, like I said, I'll be focusing today mainly on building the larger ship at least starting uh, starting to plan the larger ship that will fit Excalibur inside of it. Now, how large am I thinking about here? I'm thinking large enough to hold three Excaliburs in just the front of it. This will be like a mobile fortress slash... Well, uh, the only problem with doing a mobile fortress sort of thing, because if I use the word fortress, that implies it's going to be heavy armor, and heavy armor costs a lot of resources, uh, amongst other things, a lot of welding time as well. I will probably do it out of heavy armor, um, so like, like I said, this this will probably take quite a while to do. At least the outside will be heavy armor. I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll do the outside as heavy armor, and then I'll do the interior with light armor or interior blocks. So yeah, uh, large enough to hold three Excaliburs in the front of it. Now, the design I'm kind of thinking of going for here would be... If you've ever seen those naval battleships that go across the ocean that uh, airport ca not airport carriers, uh, air aircraft carriers, uh, similar to that, but a space version of it, and like I said, large enough to fit in three Excaliburs side by side sort of thing. Uh, so it'll be really quite long. I didn't even know if I'll be able to hide it behind the asteroid here. And speaking of hiding behind the asteroid, let me move this ship out of the way because I realize it's right in front of the asteroid. Uh, sorry, right in front of the sun here. I think it already got hit before in the last episode. I think it did. Yeah, at the back here. But it should still be able to move uh, away from the away from the sun. So let me get in here and I'll let me just quickly move this. So I'll get inside of it and I'll... Do I have thrusters on the... Ah, oh, I don't have any uh, right side thrusters. That's not a big deal though. I can just rotate to where I need to go and then just thrust forward. 
and I can start with the reverse thrusters. So that, that should be okay then. So yeah, like I said, massive ship. I want it to be kind of like a city, but kind of a militarized sort of city slash battleship. Because like I said, this will have rooms. It'll actually only turn off that turret as well. Uh, basically, it'll have room for everything. Small ships, large ships, its own refinery uh, section, amongst other things as well. And I think that'll be really cool, like an, a nice project to work on. I don't even have a name for it yet. I was thinking of, um, don't, uh, I don't know, actually, I haven't even... It, I think the name will come once the design is actually done. Uh, so what was I going to do? Turn the turret off, right? I'll just quickly come in here and turn it off. Uh, get in the side of the seat here. Cat the turret turned off. It doesn't need to be on because we're on the dark side of the asteroid here and nothing will hit us anyways. And speaking of getting hit, the bison here still needs a few repairs on its reverse thrusters. So what I'll do quickly is I'll actually put a thruster facing down on it uh, so I can kind of lift off and then I'll finish building the thrusters. Just basically fixing up the bison is something I wanted to do uh, in this episode. So I'll grab... What do I need? Thruster, that's way too many. I'll grab you. Um, yeah, blah, 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 where is it? I can't even see what I need to grab. I'll just grab you first. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go, just put that down there quickly. Doesn't matter because I'm going to deconstruct this one anyway. Steel plates and uh, tings. Let me just dump the rest of you back in here. Uh, drop back 1,000, please. Give I hate how it puts the comma in first, like when it tells you how much there actually is, but you can't use the comma when you try to dump the stuff back in. Uh, anyways, um, what does I need? Steel plates. Not all of them. Uh, get rid of... Get rid of 600 of them. Sorry, 500 of them. And I need to get myself the last thing, which was the thruster components, which are down here. There they are. Good. And I should be able to just move you up here, undock, move up. Oh, dampeners on. <laughs> Thank you, there we go. And now I should be able to finish. Uh, oh, the underneath got really badly damaged. I don't know how the underneath, out of all places, was one of the most damaged places of Excalibur, uh, of Demise in here. But then again, it did destroy the cockpit as well, so I'll get that done. Get you done, get you done as well. Finish you off. And then what was at the front here? There was a... um. It was a gyroscope, if I remember correctly. It's actually been a while since I've actually looked at the design of the bison. Quite a lovely ship. I, I do, I do love the bison, which is why I haven't really thought about getting getting rid of the bison because the bison's, you know, it's been my pal. It's been with me right from the beginning, if I remember correctly. Even in the first world, I think the bison was there. Yeah, the bison was the first ship I have actually built. So yeah, the bison's been with me this whole time. So. Actually, it is amazing to think that this one little teeny ship has been with me since the first season, like the, the first few episodes of the first season. And then Excalibur came along as well, so there we go, and we need to get motor and computer to finish you off. So come in here, and we'll put you all back here, oh, all back, computer and motor, that's what you needed. And then, there we go, so now the bison should be... If I just quickly take a look, get rid of this here. Not with you. Sorry, no, no, not with you. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh no, there's something, what was that? That's the ore detector, actually. Hang on, where did I have the lights? Oh no, I had a spotlight right on the center as well. Oh wow, there's so many little things I actually had on this, uh, on the bison here that I forgot, I forgot about. Um, okay, so I'll put you, you here. There we go. I'll put the little teeny light, if I can. Right on the front, because that's where the light was, if I remember correctly. The light was here. There we go. At least, well, now it is, anyways. <laughs> a construction component and interior plate. Okay, and a construction component again. So I'll put all this back here. Construction component and interior plate was what I needed for the light. Not so much for you, because I know I need the detector components and steel plate, so... Uh, we'll get this done. Oh, nice and bright. There we go. Detector components and steel plates. Should be good then. Uh, steel plates and detector components. There we go. Perfect. And apply. And just finish up. I don't know why that sometimes the sounds don't actually uh, don't don't work. It's really weird. So there we go. Now the bison is all fixed and all ready for action. There we go. Awesome. 
So that, that, that's cool. The, uh, I think Excalibur is going to take me a little bit longer than the Bison will. Um, but like, like I said, I want to firstly work on a ship that's going to be surrounding the Excalibur here. And then I will fix up Excalibur once I've done the other ship, I think. Because once I get the other ship done, that'll be cool. But I'll be doing the other ship section by section. So first I'll do the hangar, and then I'll work on other parts of the ship afterwards. So I think, actually, now that the features are in the game, I can actually start building it via a station block. Now, why why would I want to do this? The reason why I want to do with the station block is if it does get hit by anything, the pieces won't move. At least the pieces that aren't destroyed will actually stay stationary, allowing me to easily repair it if something comes apart. Uh, but once the ship's actually done, then I can just do the convert to convert to ship button and then I can actually move it. So building something as a station, a lot building a large ship as a station is a lot more uh, beneficial to you than building it just straight off as a large ship. So I will do that uh, out of the way of the sun most definitely. I'll put it down because I can't build too close to the I'll start it over here actually, so we'll put down the first, actually it'll have to be that first, and then I can build the heavy armor blocks. So we'll go heavy armor, heavy armor, we should be okay then. So, oops, sorry, let me just do that there, and let me get rid of you. So, this will be the foundation, too bad I can't use the mirroring tool or anything like that, that would be really, really handy. So how wide is Excalibur? It's one, two, three... Four, five, oops, sorry, five, six, six blocks uh, from the center. So, one, two, th oh, three, four, five, six, and and that's just that's just one half of it. So I wanted to go on the other side over here as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough to house one Excalibur in the hangar, uh, in the hangar entrance, anyways. So. That's quite, uh, quite wide, and if I want to fit three of them, I'm going to need a hangar that's at least all the way out to here, and this is just width of the ship I'm talking about. Wow. <laughs> so let me just, actually, let me just quickly, I'll go, I'll go here again, then go up for the separator, and then I'll do one, two, three, four, four, four five, six, seven, eight, oh, eight, come on, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You know, actually, I think, instead of doing 3 XL, but I think 2, because that, that's pretty wide in itself for a ship, at least for the hangar anyways. Uh, actually, no, you know, I'll, I'll go I'll go bigger. We, we can't, we can't do, we can't do this half ass. so we'll do this, we'll do this a little bit bigger here. So I'll put this, uh, put this up, we'll go across here. God, this ship is going to take me a while. Like I said, that's why I want to do it section by section uh, instead. So hang on, uh, where would the middle point of this thing be? I guess about here. Am I looking at that right? Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'll make it 20 just to be fair. 20 on that side, I'll do 20 on this side. That, that, that should be okay to fit in enough. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That is going to be the width of the hangar section of the ship I will be building. Wow. <laughs> That's going to cost so much resources. But it'll be worth it. Of course it'll be worth it. And we get rid of these markings here. And we'll uh, start going up. Uh, how high is Excalibur? Well, depends how many drugs it's had. Um, <laughs> sorry, bad joke. One, two, three... Four, five, I think? Six, seven. Seven for the turret, I think. Uh, there we go, we'll go up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe ten? Ten should be enough to house it. Oh no, but the sun... Crap. And I can't move it because it's the... It's the, um, 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 it's the station. Crap, um, hang on. 
thinking you maybe push the blocks over a bit. So I'll go in about like, uh, hang on, where would this be exactly in, the, in terms of the sun? That'd be a little bit better off then. So I'll move it in by five, so I'll go one, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll go back up here like we were doing before and just see how this is in, in the sunlight. Is that touching the sun? No, we're close. Good. Okay, and I'll just deconstruct this side here and then I will uh, go back and add an extra five to the other side. So, if that makes sense to you guys, it should do. Uh, so, like I said, yeah, five I'll be cutting off, so five on the other side. Perfect. Oh, right, it's a station. Oh, hang on. That was a weird lag spike then. I think either a ship just popped up or just disappeared. Uh, mining hauler. Good. Okay. Uh, I actually forgot then. If I separated it, it's not going to be a big deal because it's all just station blocks anyway. So that is so handy now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I can do the, uh, do that. So there we go. That should be the, uh, is that really high enough for Excalibur? Doesn't look like it is, does it? Hang on, I'll have to double check Excalibur's height here, because that doesn't feel right to me. So we have... Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, it's 13 blocks, including turrets. Ah, so I am way off then. Whoopsie. So what did I do? I did 10 here, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I'll have to do twenty then. One, two, three, four, five, six, crap, nine, ten. And that's in the way of the sun again. I, I don't think I'll get hit. Maybe I'll have to turn one of the turrets back on just to protect me whilst I build this thing. And holy crap, that is one massive hangar. That really is one large hangar. Wow. It yeah, definitely wow. Um, let me just double check the sizes here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That should be 20 there. And then we'll do the block here. Then we can start going up. Good. Damn, this is going to be one big ship. This is going to be one big, slow ship. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Hey, the bigger the project, the better it will be. I think a lot of you guys said that in the comments as well. The bigger the better. Um, two energy is low. Well, big deal. I'll go back in a second. Um, we'll put this over here. I will do the doors on the side of the ship as well. So on the left and right of the ship instead of being up and down. Like I did on the Excalibur. So Excalibur can fly in from the side basically. That's how I want it to be. And that way the front of the ship is also protected too, so I think that's a lot better than doing it. I, I don't know why on the Excalibur I did it on the bottom. I think that was just so I could protect a lot of it. Well, we have a lot of way to go. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, don't, don't do it on the bottom, Brad. Uh, getting closer. There we go. And this will be basically uh, insight to how large this thing will be. There we go, that's done. Let's get rid of this here. Maybe park. I was thinking maybe parking a scalable in here, just upside down. But uh, that is going to be the size of the hangar. You can just uh, extend that outwards in, like uh, that a direction. But I think I'll have to bring a scalable down here anyways, just to get the length of it correct. Uh, so I'll look in the buys in here. It's gonna stop bombarding the thing, isn't it? I bet it will. I, uh, it'll hit. <laughs> that, that'll be my luck. It'll it'll hit the t it'll hit the damn thing. Oh well. No biggie. I don't know why, but every now and then, when these uh, asteroids hit the a uh, when the meteors hit the asteroid, my frame rate like it doesn't tank. It just goes oh, right the one turret. 
Go, Tarot, go! Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm going to take this thing apart and get its, get its, uh, get its thrusters. Let me just quickly put these things in a container here. Oh, where can I put them? Does this thing not have its own container? So it did. That now here, here we go. I'll put you in here briefly. I'll take out all the thrusters. Cause that way I can just build them straight away on the on Excalibur. And it should help Excalibur move a little bit as well. Uh do any more thrusters want to come along? You? Yeah, sure, I'll take you. Oh But yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um yeah, up here. That way we can add three more thrusters in the downwards direction, and that should help Excalibur, like I said, move around a little bit more anyways. So, up we go here. I have to admit, Excalibur was well protected though, despite it being light armor, most of the main components, like the, uh, the reactors and all that were actually protected, the reactors and gyroscopes, uh, weren't hit though, uh, ad admittedly the cockpit was kind of exposed there, but... It did, it did actually get through turrets, the armor, and whatever else was above the cockpit. I think that should be, yeah, that, that, that's the thrusters. Okay, there we go. So I've got three extra thrusters going downwards, so that should help us move uh, a little bit faster, at least. So we'll go backwards here as well. Poor Excalibur. <laughs> I feel sorry for it because it, it looked. It, it was one of my favorite ships. I think it was my favorite ship of uh, of all time, and now it's uh, now it's in ruins and shambles. I think one of its parts is still floating into outer space uh, as I talk. Um, okay, we'll go down here. We won't go backwards any further. I don't think I need to. Uh, we'll go full and a little bit to the to this side. And then we should be able to position it and have a look at uh, how exactly it'll fit inside this inside this uh, this uh, ship here. So is that uh, that low, that's low enough? I think. And obviously, since this is the at least the hangar will be uh, heavy armor on the inside, simply because um, the the thrusters of Excalibur will, will probably burn through light armor really easily. So here we are inside. We've got extra room on top and bottom uh, simply so ships can get inside Excalibur if need be. Um, is that is that close enough to being lined up I think? That's that's uh, yeah, that, that, that's a lot of room for two or three Excaliburs sideways anyways and um, lengthways it'll have to come all the way back here just for the hangar. So yeah I mean that, that's not I mean that's pretty large, admittedly, uh, but it's it's not it's not that bad. So we will we'll start building the angle down here. Actually, hang on, let me rotate Excalibur around. I'll, I'm doing this so I can get the turret facing the top way, so I can protect myself like that. So I get inside here and rotate, rotate your butt around, and then like I said, I can turn the uh, turn the turret on to protect the corner that's actually kind of exposed. Ooh. We'll go over here. Actually, no. I'll stay towards the stay towards the rock. That way, that way, I know Excalibur is going to be protected. But it should be able to at least target anything that comes within range here. Uh, yeah, you you're good. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now to go back to finishing off what I was doing. Then of course we having to grab the resources from here. As well, and that's just a block. I should probably destroy that before I end up lagging out my world. Uh, if that's even going to be a thing. Ooh. There we go, perfect. Now where do I put the other pieces? In here, there you are. Great. Okay, um, back over to this now. This is going to be one massive, massive project. <laughs> but I'm going to like it. It would be so much more entertaining if I actually had... Uh, one of my friends playing this game is still with me, but uh, nonetheless, it's not that big of a deal. I can I can do this uh, my, myself. So go all the way along here for the edges. Oh, come on! There we go.
Now, we, obviously, we have to leave some uh, a little bit of leeway here, but uh, that should be enough, I think, for Excalibur, anyways, to uh, you know to, to kind of maneuver around. So that, that's all right. I'll just do the wall on this side here, just to, like I said, give, give you guys a sense of scale. Even though you probably already have that sense already, it is it, it is pretty pretty massive. One thing I'm gonna hate is, like I said, having to build this in survival instead of creative, meaning it's not only, like, the placing of a large uh, ship like this will take forever, but then not only do I have to place it, I then have to go back and then weld it all as well. I kind of why I would like to play creative instead of survival. But I don't know how you guys would feel about that, a creative, um, a creative let's play. I think that would be weird, wouldn't it? I don't know if you guys would watch a creative let's play. Uh, obviously survival it has reason because you're watching me have to survive in space, gather resources and all that other stuff, but a creative let's play is only just basically me building stuff. I don't know if that would be entertaining for some of you guys. Uh, there we go, we've got that done. And we will get the other side done as well. And that's just the, the box basically. <laughs> Wow, that's kind of a yeah. This will be something. I don't know. How do you go? How would you guys feel about a creative? Like obviously, I can't do both of them because I'm doing other videos as well. Uh, so it would be one or the other. But I don't know if you guys would uh, really enjoy watching me just build stuff. Admittedly, it 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 because the the way I see it is it's basically like what I'm doing right now. Just, it's cutting out a lot of the welding and having to gather resources part. Which, I think a lot of you guys like to see what I build. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll work amongst you guys. I'll have to see. I'll probably end up having to finish the season off though. It's a bit stupid starting at being like, oh, yeah, well, now this is being converted over to creative. Unless, uh, unless you guys all want that, then that's fine with me as well. Uh, is that lined up? I think so, actually. Uh, let me just go back along here as well. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I hate it. Sometimes it doesn't detect a block. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys would feel about a creative Let's Play, if that makes any sense. Uh, if you guys would watch that over Survival. Because, actually, why do you guys watch Survival Let's Plays? Is it because of the resource gathering slash building, or is there another element to it as well that you guys like to watch? Maybe it's the commentary, but then if it's commentary, would it really matter what I'm doing? I mean, I could just be sitting here staring at a wall if, if you're watching it for the commentary, and I could just talk about uh, other stuff. I was going to do a podcast. I was thinking about doing live streams, but the only problem with me doing live streams is that I can't actually stream anything other than really, really shitty quality. That or it'll just be audio, uh, so I don't know how you guys would feel about just audio streaming. Um, uh, who, who knows, maybe some of you guys would come just to listen to me talk and rant about stuff whilst I do uh, other stuff by, by myself. Obviously you guys wouldn't be able to see anything so, because I couldn't, I can't stream footage, but who knows, maybe you guys would like it. Keep flying out too far away from this thing here. There we go, come on. I do like and hate how this whole episode is me building a box. <laughs> it's uh, I, I've been quite good with lining these things up though, actually. Um, oh, there we go, we've got some asteroids coming again. As you guys can see, my frame rate does seem to tank quite a bit when those asteroids... It's, uh, it's when they collide, like so, with the actual rock there. Uh, no, you mm, don't you dare hit. Don't you dare hit. No, it's not going to hit, but it's going to come close to me. No, I'm kidding. Thank you, Tyrant. Thank you, Excalibur. <laughs> Protecting me like always. And I can just build the other box around here as well. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys would think about a creative Let's Play. And hell, what do you guys think about me streaming just my audio? Uh, like I, said, I, I know a lot of you guys probably get bored with that because it's always going to be some sort of footage uh, sort of thing. But uh, there we go. I was thinking of actually doing that throughout E3. Like, we all sit down and we watch an E3 live stream, whilst I just kind of upload my, uh, sorry, stream my thoughts and opinions on the 
rewards being shown at E3, but that would have mean I would have had to have been up at like really early in the morning. Uh, so there we go. There's the basic box done, really, and then obviously I'm gonna have to have the doorways in here as well. So we'd have obviously I think probably go one across like this down here uh, as well, and then obviously one up here, and then I will do the whole. Uh, like that, like a sort of like open, open airways sort of thing here. Obviously, I'll be putting in airlocks as well. Uh, I think having an airlock from the hangar going into the main station ship will be a, a little bit of realism that I think I'd like to have in this ship. So yet again, this will go across like this, and then I'll have uh, have this here as well, and I think that'll be. So we good, and I can obviously add on to the front uh, when I'm going to add all the thrusters and stuff. And man, this thing will have so many thrusters just so we could move at a, at, at a turtle's pace. <laughs> oh well, I think I might actually leave this here. I have rambled on for long enough and just talk to you guys about the ship uh, itself. And like I said, once I get the hangar module done, I'll probably be working on what comes behind that, which I think will probably uh, be a lengthy hallway that'll lead to other modules as well. Uh, such as, no, not, not so much the cockpit, maybe the reactor rooms. What would be the closest thing to a hangar? Like, behind the hangar. So, for example, that was the front of the ship there. That'll probably have, like, uh, thrusters and thruster rooms on. Oh, hang on, would this be the front? I, I always assumed that the hangar would be at the front of the ship, kind of like it is on Excalibur. Who knows, maybe you guys have the hangars in the middle or at the back of the ship. Um, but yeah, what, what would go behind the hangar? What would be the closest thing to the hangar in your ship? I don't know, I'm not really much of a ship designer. It's, I think it's kind of spoken when you look at Excalibur there. A ton of thrusters in the wrong places, basically. That's what Excalibur is. But Excalibur's my ship, and I like Excalibur, so... Anyways, without further ado, I think I'll leave this here, and I might do a fair bit of the uh, welding for this hangar in my own time, so when I come back in the next episode, you won't be watching me do all this all over again, but just the welding side of it. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave this here for now. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time once I've done with the basics of the hangar. Stay awesome, everyone. See you guys next time, and don't forget to answer the questions and leave a like on the video if you actually enjoyed watching me play this game. See you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.